Hey guys, David here from the Yacht Group and Yacht Thruster. Today we're here in Harbortown Marini in Dana Beach, Florida. We have Multitech that's gonna do an installation on an external bow thruster for this uh, 40 foot Valley Cat catamaran. Uh, it's gonna go on one of the holes. It doesn't have to go on both, even though you could put one on each if you needed. But for the size of this vessel, we're only gonna use one. Uh, stay tuned to see the installation video. We're gonna go in depth uh, to answer some questions that many customers have and see if there's something that you think that you can install yourself. Stay tuned to see more information. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, there's some quick tips before you even start the installation process and before you even touch the boat or the thruster itself. The thruster is anodized, which means it has a protective barrier coating to prevent oxidation. Uh, so you do not want to sand it because uh, if you do, then you'll take off the protective barrier coating and that will void the warranty before it even touches the water. Additionally, if you do want to paint the thruster to match the hole or for any reason, you can do it, but it has to be with aluminum safe paint. You cannot use copper based paints because that will also void the warranty. Uh, just keep this in mind and you'll be good to go. All right, just to give me an idea of what's going to happen with the installation today. Before you even get started, you're going to find the proper space to mount your thruster. You got to make sure not only is the outside going to be clear, but you want to make sure on the inside of your boat, you're going to have space to mount everything and tighten everything and add batteries if needed. Uh, so once you have that, you will be drilling your hole. Unlike conventional tunnel thrusters, uh, it takes a very small hole to mount this thruster. Once you mount it, you'll be from the inside, you will be tightened down with a nut. Uh, if there's any gaps on the outside uh, because it's not flush, all you have to do is add some ferrum compound to pack it in. Uh, that will give you a much cleaner look and it's just much easier to do. Uh, on the internal side, you'll be hooking up the, uh, the wires to the, uh, to the batteries and to the uh, control eye box and then hook up your control to the helm station. And that's the gist of the installation, but we're going to go further in depth throughout the day to see each step in, uh, in depth.
right guys, so we're back at the installation. Uh, we're doing the internal part now with the power uh, and the electrical part. As you can see, we're getting the technicians are pretty much getting ready. They're sending the batteries uh, down into the hole as well as the, uh, they're using starboard to mount the, pretty much the whole I box with the battery switches and all that and run all the cables there to make it look all nice. Um, as you can see, it is a tight fit. Uh, this is the reason why we recommend that you look on the internal side of the boat. Just because it fits on the outside doesn't mean that you might have room to reach it on the inside. Uh, in this boat in particular, it actually has two decks. So it has to go through two hatches. It's a real tight fit, but it's a, it's a perfect fit essentially. And he's, we are able to do the installation uh, on this boat. Uh, you'll see more into detail later on once we get in there and able to show you uh, what was done. All right, guys, as you see, uh, we've uh, already installed the control for the thruster. Uh, it's this small unit right here. You do have the option between a touchpad and a joystick. Uh, this customer opted to go with the joystick. Pretty straightforward. You go port and starboard uh, to wherever direction you want to go and on off to turn it on or have the thruster off. Uh, the cable's already run, ran through and it's reaching all the way down to the uh, thruster itself. So once it's hooked up the power and we're in the water, you can go ahead and start using it. All right, guys, now, as you saw in the video, it was a very tight space to do this install. We set up a makeshift uh, installation right here. Essentially, this is exactly what you'd be doing inside uh, when you are installing your out thruster. Uh, John here is gonna explain exactly what goes into it and how to do it. Okay, so right now we're gonna show you the thruster connection because it's very difficult to get in here and show you when everything else is in there. So. You're going to plug the thermal shutdown switch is going to plug in right there. Okay, and then the thruster wires, you can see that one is longer than the other because of where it goes. It goes through this hole in the bottom. And the longer one is going to go on the farther post underneath. And the other one is going to go on this first post here. So this video is to just uh, go over the basics of how the electrical gets hooked up. Um, we did this because uh, uh, on the previous video they were not able to get in. It was too tight of uh, an area and you couldn't really see exactly what they were doing while they were installing it. First of all, we have some battery trays here. You know, you need either battery trays or battery boxes for your batteries when you put them in. This is a 12 to 24 volt Orion charger that we use. Um, I have it hooked up like this so that you see the input. Um, this is going to go to your 12 volt battery. That's your input. The output goes, as you can see, right over to the um, uh, 24 volt battery. We have a 30 amp fuse in line that has to be in there. And there's also going to be another 30 amp fuse that's going to go on this red, um, this red wire right where um, it connects to your 12 volt battery. So you'll have another one of these that will connect to the battery. This is for short to ground protection so you don't have the fire, okay? Um, so that connects and charges your 24 volt system uh, from the um, Orion 12 to 24 smart charger. As you can see, we have two batteries in series to give you the 24 volts that you need for the thruster. We put them together facing each other with the terminals so that you have uh, negative and positive on this side that are linked together. And then you have a single positive out here and a single negative out there. That's your ground for the charging. This is your ground for the thruster, which goes as one wire straight to the, straight to the ground connection here. Your positive wire comes out to the positive on this uh, 24 volts, goes through the fuse first, goes into battery switch, 
out of the battery switch to the positive connection in the iBox. It's important that you put this on after you're done connecting everything with the fuse. This protects from a short, short to ground. Okay, a couple things that I wanted to show you on the, on the iBox. Um, this is your negative connection, this is your positive connection. Uh, just an FYI to help you out, you're going to always have to um, put this one on first or you won't be able to get it in, hard, in there very easily. Uh, positive goes on this connection. Uh, we showed you in the other video, these are your two connections for your thruster connection. This wire, your thermal sh shutdown has to be connected or the, the system will not work. And once you have all of that connected, put the cover on slide that in there and tighten it down and you're good to go.